Michael here at DrawingTeachers.com. In our Draw 50 Names contest, we had some interesting submissions, and uh, this one is one of the longest ones I have. It's called it's a Line Jensen, L-I-N-E-J-E-N-S-E-N. -E -E so I'm going to have to keep these letters really tight here. So let's block them out. We'll do the L, do an I, and I'm going to do some uh, staggering of the letters here to help us squeeze them all in. And let's see, now we'll have a J. And we're going to tuck this next E up underneath it. And we're going to have to squeeze a lot of letters in here. And so there we have it, Line Jensen. Okay, and we've got a little room to spread out, but, but that's about all. Let's go ahead and let's block in these letters. And just work your way across, trying to make similar letters have a consistent feel. I'll go back and look at that in while I'm drawing this. Might as well do some of these things at the same time. I can look at that E, give that a similar feel. Let's see what that cut all the way down to there. So I'm going to go ahead and lower, lower that part of my letter. And try to make that similar. And that dip below the line right here. And again, the ends. That one came up a little higher, but we can, can draw that in right there. And they don't have to match exactly by any means. Uh, part, of, part of the creativity here with graffiti letters is that you can vary up the different letters. All right, there we go. It's kind of lean and, and tight. So go ahead and outline that with the Sharpie. There, L. And let that connect. And that connects us to the N. And notice how we're letting these, these ends pinch in just a little bit here. So it's not a perfect outlining, it's kind of a outline with a little, little pinch right there.
All right, there's the line. And we're going to do our J. Yes. Our E and our final N right here. Okay, there we go. Take our kneaded eraser and erase the pencil lines. And because of the thickness of the lines, this all looks really, really uh, kind of crowded together. I think that it will help when we uh, shade this in some. So uh, I'm going to use color red. And we're going to shade up about half of this, halfway up these letters. All right, and now I'm going to come in with some orange. Going to find a nice orange color. And be right back. So here's an orangey yellow I found. And I found this, which is an orange, but it's uh, almost going to look like the red. So we'll go in with this, this yellow color here, which is going to look pretty orange here. All right, and since this is already a very, very colorful, hot-looking design, let's go ahead and uh, we'll outline the bottom first in this reddish color. And then on the sides here, we'll let this come up in flames. the same thing over here and we'll find 
find a way to connect those right there. So we've got line Jensen and Flames. And we'll take a brighter yellow now. And we'll color in some here in between. Follow this line here with a little inside line. And finish outlining these by going around them with this yellow. Cut up in there. And there we have a very hot flaming line Jensen.